so boring. You know, when Mr. B told us to go through his storage, I think he meant the both of us. Yeah. Have you thought about where you're going to high school? My mom says she thinks I should go to a magnet school, whatever that means. High school? That's the last thing on my mind, dude. I'm just munching on my chips. You know, high schools used to use like interactive videos to tour their school and stuff. I think I found one. Communications arts. What's with the double S? That sounds wrong, doesn't it? CD? Who uses CDs anymore? Dude, move. I have the CD. Communications arts. Let's see what it does. Whoa! What's happening? Ah! What's happening? Ah! Oh, what do I do? Ah! Hello. Whoa! Where did you come from? Welcome to Communications Arts High School. Communication what? Communications Arts. We're a magnet school that specializes in the art of communication through our three main strands, audio video production, animation, and journalism. Okay, so? Would you like a tutorial? All right, sure. Awesome! Come on, let's get you the first class of the day. What? But I don't... Hello? Are you even listening to me? If you wanted to go into AV or animation, this would be the class you would take freshman year. Principles of Arts. Take a look around. Uh, hello. So here, what we do is I teach uh, fundamentals of AV and animation. And we go over stuff like color theory, photography, the basics of film. We use a lot of Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. And so that's what you will learn here, all the fundamentals of here at ComArts. Well, thank you very much. So what do you think about this class? I really like this class. It's fun and informational. Hmm, this class actually does sound pretty fun, but what comes after it? I'm glad you asked. After this class, second year animation, or AV students, take digital communications, which is taught by Ms. Barton. Whoa. Hi. Hey there. I guess you're here to learn what ComArts kids do in this class. Well, let me break it down for you. In class, we work on refining your digital skills by getting certified in Adobe software applications. And those certifications are industry recognized. Wow, that's actually really cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adobe Illustrator. We'll be learning how to create graphic design. I'll be the first program to get certified in. And I'm Photoshop. You'll use me to retouch images and edit photos. I'll be the second application you get certified in. Wow, so I can be certified in two applications as a sophomore? That's totally cool. Yeah! yeah. And you'll be seeing more of us in your junior and senior years. Cool, so what's after this? I'm glad you asked. After completing these two strands, you can branch into animation or AV. Let's make a stop at the AV strand. I don't think I'll ever get used to that. What are you so happy about? Oh, because the AV strand is awesome. Why don't you come on in? Hey, Miss Sumbleguard. Oh, hey, welcome to AV. I can't wait online. AV is awesome. You know, this is where you learn to write your scripts, your storyboards, and you learn to do your own short films 
you get certified in Premiere, After Effects, and Audition. And all of this is done using really cool equipment. That's actually pretty cool. I've always wanted to be a director. This seems like a perfect opportunity for that. Seems like for a that, perfect that, opportunity. Just with some technical difficulties. But uh, check out our very own green screen wall. Now that you've learned everything in this strand in AV, you can now learn about the other strand available to you after taking the two freshman and sophomore courses. Whoa, cool. Welcome to the Animation Lab. During your sophomore year, you'll learn the basics of animation so that during your junior year, you'll have the knowledge necessary to begin creating your own animations. This is awesome. All of this tech is for us? Of course. We have three state-of-the-art computer labs fully equipped with all the Adobe software applications. And you have the option to get certified in them. Plus, we have equipment such as drawing tablets and extra utilities that you may need to create your own artwork. We're the only school in NISD to have 100% Mac computer labs. Wow, that's really cool. Movies like that take tons of planning. And animation is a little hard to master, but here at Communications Arts, you'll get it in no time thanks to our animation teachers, Mr. Flores and Ms. Cleveland. Now that we've seen what animation is all about, let's go to Communications Arts' third and final strand, Broadcast Journalism. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Hello, this is a journalism classroom where in your freshman year you'll be learning about the foundations of journalism, such as writing, ethics, uh, how to make a podcast, and even how to handle a commit to make your own video. And in this classroom we also have whiteboard tables, which is really unique because a lot of my students like to doodle and brainstorm on the whiteboard and then be able to just erase it and redo it again. And this is our studio where all of our equipment is kept. Mainly, um, most importantly, my sophomores stay in this room majority of the time because they're the ones that are making the weekly video announcements. And in this video announcement, they're shown every Friday and the entire school, yes, the entire school sees the video, so what they make. So basically what's in that video is just interviews about different coaches, what they have you know, coming up, sports related, banquet, prom, anything happening in the comm department, it's going to be shown every Friday. All that starts with is our students being confident, capable, and communicative leaders. And then with our juniors transitioning to our junior year, what they do is they really focus on PBS networks, uh, such as videos or NPRs which for their podcasts. And then entering the senior year is going to be ISJ. And in ISJ, it's independent study journalism, where my seniors get to go and hands-on in the real-life experience. And they get to mentor with a real-life journalist and just go and follow them and hopefully they'll guide them throughout the entire year. Awesome! So do you guys have like a newspaper or something? Close. We have a new site where our students are able to just write their articles and post it via online, even podcasts too. Ah, you have an AP class. Let's check it out. Hey guys, how are y'all? Welcome to class. Have a seat. So which class is this again? Uh, this is AP Human Geography. This is your social studies class for the year. AP? So uh, AP, that's probably new to you, that stands for Advanced Placement. Uh, this is a type of class that you can actually earn college credit. If you complete it and there's a test at the end that you take, you can get some of your college done as a freshman here at this high school. Saving on college? That's awesome. It's exactly what it is. It is awesome. So if you come in here, you work really hard, you get it all done, we can get you started on, a, on an advanced degree before you even leave high school. Thank you, Mr. Rosser. You're welcome. Sounds welcome great. to the class. Already saving on college? Sweet. You're required to take one AP class your freshman and sophomore year, and by your junior and senior year, it ups to two. Cool. ComArts has a variety of rigorous college level classes that you get an option to take. We have classes in AP level courses like Spanish 4 and 5, UT Honorams classes such as Arts and Entertainment, and even a few dual credit classes you can take from Northwest Vista College. All of this is meant for our students here to get an opportunity to save even more money on college expenses. Free education, am I right? That's pretty cool, but... Is it hard? Well, if you study and you prepare and you do what your teachers ask, you will pass the test. You can do it. That sounds pretty good to me. You know, I'm always up for a challenge. And if it's going to prepare me for college, then that would be great. But it kind of seems like there's something missing here. Where are my math and science courses? I'm glad you asked. Isn't she a beaut? This is 
where you'll be taking your math and science courses. Taft is our main campus. Since we're a magnet school, everyone at Comart shares classes between Com and Taft. And all that means is students can join any club at Taft too. So, sports, theater, band, etc. Well, that concludes our tutorial. What did you think? That was awesome. The school is great, but what if I don't live near it? Well, NIST actually provides transportation to and from school, and there's plenty of more where that came from when you get here. So, what do you think? You ready to end the demo and actually start playing? Heck yeah!